I felt like the Lord was just kind of showing me something. I, I, I just had a vision. And for those of you that are like, I don't know what a vision is, I know what a dream is, it's basically like a daydream. It, it's like all of a sudden you're, you're, you're wide awake, but all of a sudden the Lord just reveals something to you that you're not really seeing, but you're like, in my mind, he's painting this beautiful picture. And so I had this vision and I, I saw like, I just saw a map. And, and all of a sudden I saw on the map, I saw these schools, these buildings popping up all around our region and it's symbolizing you guys and and all of these schools are all around the map and and all around our region and all of a sudden I just saw schools just start lighting up it was it was one school lit up here and then another school lit up over here and then another one over there and another one over there and it started multiplying and spreading and, and what I felt like the Lord was saying is I'm lighting the fire of my spirit once again that, that there were times in the days of old that there were awakenings that happened and revivals that happened, but it started with prayer. It always started with people who said, I'm just gonna choose to believe that what God's word says is true and that he, he wants to visit me and he wants to visit the people around me. And guys, I, I know that something, we know that something special is taking place here. And we're not going to take it for granted, but the amazing thing is it doesn't stop right here. It doesn't stop at 5 o'clock when we go to eat or 6 o'clock when we start loading up to leave. You take this fire, you take this Holy Spirit with you everywhere you go. And so what I feel the Lord was saying was, I want to light the fire of my spirit once again. I want to light the fire of my spirit inside of each heart once again not to just let this little light shine right here, but, but so that it could catch wildfire and spread in your schools, in your cities. And, and yes, we may be able to help. Some of the adults, the volunteers, we may be able to help, but you guys are the ones that take the fire back into your schools. You guys are the ones that take it back into your teams and your clubs. And, and you guys are the ones that spread the torch. And so very simply, I want you to close your eyes. And if you've been feeling the spirit and the stirring of God throughout this weekend, I just want you to raise your hand if you say, I want the fire to go back into my school. I want the fire that goes back into my family and changes things. I want that fire. Father, we ask that you would pour out your spirit on your sons and your daughters, that your old men would see dreams, and that your young men and your young daughters, that they would prophesy and speak life into their schools. We declare that middle schools and high schools will light on fire for the presence of God, for the passion and a burning desire of Jesus Christ. Father God, we thank you that you are awakening the flame, a flame that will not go out. It cannot be snuffed by the enemy, the attacks of the enemy. But Father God, we thank you that what you set into motion cannot be stopped. It cannot be dismayed. It cannot be deterred. So Father, we pray right now, fresh fire, a fresh baptism of your spirit on your sons and daughters in this place. We say we will be the vessels that carry your spirit, that carry the cause of Jesus Christ, that choose to enter into the great commission of spreading the great news, the good news of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you that in your presence, this is where we belong and that we take it with us. And we seal all of this in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, it's not because we're awesome, it's simply because we're willing to say yes. Yes, we want to carry your spirit. Yes, we want to honor you. We open up our hearts and our lives to you. In Jesus' name.